Hi, my name is Heather and welcome to another episode of season two of Cover to Cover Canva Edition, my series where I share my process with you creating a children's book using Canva elements. I'll include my copyright reminder here. And remember, this isn't a tutorial. This is just me sharing my process with you. So if you'd like more step-by-step -step instructions, then check out the videos that I'll link in the description. I have Lorene's book pulled up here. And remember last week we did this kitchen scene. And one thing that Lorene did mention to me is that Christopher has blue eyes. So she wanted us to change his eyes to blue. Rather than try to find an eye that is blue and it's the perfect expression, I think it'll be easier just to rebuild his eyes using basic shapes. Because as you can see, they are very simple, just a couple circles. So I'm just going to press the letter C on my keyboard to bring up a circle. And as you can see, his eyes are a little bit more oval. So I'm just going to grab this handle here and pull it in a little bit. And then I'm just going to set it over his current eye. And I'm holding down control as I do this. That way I can get everything at exact measurements. And it's not going to snap to different measurements. Now I'm going to change the color to white. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And I'll make it a blue color. And then let me just make sure it is the right size. And then I can bring it over here. And then let's also give him a pupil because he doesn't have a pupil in the original one. So I'm going to make a copy and make it black. And then I'm going to make those couple of highlights that we have here. So I'll just make a copy of this one and I'll make it white. And then I'll just resize it and put it in place. Now I'm just going to grab all of those pieces and group them together. And then I'll just duplicate the eye. And then I will need to move the inside pieces to the left a bit because he was kind of more looking towards the center like that. And then I did notice that I forgot to put a shadow underneath the backpack. So let's go ahead and add that as well. So I'm going to grab the shadow that's under Christopher, and I'll just duplicate that one. Now we can move on to the next page. The next page says, I was a little bit nervous about taking the bus, but I am a big boy now, and I did not want to fuss. We walked to the bus stop. That is where we must wait. We left right on time. We did not want to be late. One thing that I thought was really interesting and I wanted to share with you, it's a tip from Laureen because I asked her why she didn't want any contractions in here, because I probably would have just written, we didn't want to be late, but she said that contractions confuse the little kids. So that's why she puts the separate words. So I thought that was a good tip to share. Since it says they walk to the bus stop and that's where they're gonna wait, then we can have them waiting at the bus stop. And Laureen did tell me that the way their bus stop was situated was that there were some houses and then a road, and then there was kind of a curvy road going up to that road. And then that corner where those two roads meet are where the bus stop is. So that's the layout that we're gonna go with. So it kind of mirrors how the bus stop actually was back then. Let's start by blocking out the main parts of our picture. So I'm gonna start by clicking the background and I'm going to pick the color for the sky. And then I'm going to make a rectangle and I'll pick a color for the grass. And then we're going to have some houses in the background up here. So let's search for house. And we're just gonna find some houses that match the illustration style that we're going with. And I'm going to try to keep that house inside the safe zone. This one's really cute. Now let's make the road going across. I'm going to search for road. Oh, this one looks really cute for the s shape road. And then we just need a matching one to go across. Rather than try to find one that matches everything exactly, I'm just going to build the one across with rectangles. So I'll just press the letter R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. 
and then I will set that to the same color. And then we just need to add the lines for the road. So I'm going to press the letter L on my keyboard to bring up a line. And I'm going to try to make it the same thickness as the part of the road that's really close to that road. So it would need to be a little bit thinner. And then I'll make it white. And then I'm just going to copy it and bring it to the back. And for the one in the back, I want it to be a little bit thinner because it's a little bit farther away. So I'll set that width to one. And then we can also add our dotted line. So I'm gonna take this one and duplicate it again. And then I'll go up here and make it a dashed line. Although these dashes don't really have enough space between them. So let's actually get rid of that. And I'm just going to search up here for dashed line. And then I can find one with enough space between the lines. And it does need to be a little bit smaller, but Canva won't let me resize it because it's already pretty small. So I'm going to click both of them and group them together. And then I'll make a copy and bring it down here. And then if I grab both of those, then the height is now not itty bitty, so Canva will let me resize it. And then I'll just delete that other one. And let's go ahead and make a copy. And there's our road. The other thing is notice that I didn't put the dashed line directly in the center of the road because since we're looking at it from an angle, it's actually going to be up a bit from the vertical center. So that just gives it a little bit of extra perspective. And then let's just move this one above. And then I'll just cover this one little part with a rectangle. Actually, we need more of a parallelogram. So I'll go over here to shape. And let's pick this one. And then I'll make the color the same color as the road. Now the two roads come together seamlessly. And I'm going to grab all of the stuff with the roads and I'll just group it so I don't mess that up. Now let's add a little sign that says bus stop. I think that'll be cute so that you can really tell that it's a bus stop. This is a cute little bus stop sign. The only thing I don't like is how it overlaps with the house so it kind of gets lost. So let's move this house over and that way we can actually see the stop sign really easily. It really stands out against the background. And then we could also add like a little bit of grass behind so that you can kind of see that there's land behind the houses. So let's search for grass. And we can just find something like this. Let's view the collection. Grab this one. And I do kind of like this color green better anyways. So let me change the dark green to be the same. And then I'll change my rectangle color to also be that green. And then I also like to always put like little tufts of grass where things are sitting on the grass. And that way it just makes it look a little more realistic as well. So let me search for grass tuft. And then I'll bring it up here. Put it against the house and I'll just make it the same color as the grass and then I can also put some against the road we can maybe add some little flowers now we need to add our characters let's go ahead and grab Joey and Christopher Let's find a body for Joey that makes sense. So he is going to be standing at the bus stop waiting. So let's find the illustrations from that same artist, which was Medania Art. And then I'll just click on one of these and do view more by Medania Art. And I'll search for boy. This is a good one where he could just be standing there waiting. So I'll just change the colors to match Joey. 
and then I will go ahead and crop the head off. And I'll also crop the feet off because as you can see, the shoes are the wrong color because they're taking on the color of the shirt. So I'm gonna crop those off. And let's grab Joey and I'll ungroup. And let's just make sure this is the right size. And then I'll just delete his old outfit and put the new outfit here. And I'll position his feet. And his legs are spaced out a little more in this one. So I'm just going to double click on the feet and I'll crop it so I only have one foot. And then I'll just duplicate it. And then I can double click to crop and I'll make this one only have his right foot. And then the one other thing that I don't like is that we have a little bit of the skin color on the shirt here. So I'm going to just make a circle and I'll just cover those up. So I'll make it the same color as the shirt. Also, we have his backpack up here. And as you can see, the straps are orange. So we can add some orange straps to show that he's wearing a backpack. And for that, we really just need a shape that's kind of like a tall kind of triangle. So I'm going to go to elements and shapes. And if I grab this triangle, I can make it really skinny and I can go up here and round the corners. And then let's just make it maybe a little darker of an orange, just add a little more red into it. And then I'll bring it over here. But we do need it to go more over the shoulders. So let's rotate it a bit. Maybe a little less corner rounding. And then let's just do the backpack behind him so that you can see the big part of the backpack. So I'm going to grab this and copy it. And then I'll paste and I'm just going to move it behind everything. I think that's perfect. And now for the little brother, we don't really have another pose for this little kid because it was really hard just to find a body of a child that young in Canva but we can do some things with his face. And I remember there were a ton of facial expressions for the face that we used for this one. So let's find that again. So I'm gonna go in my recently used and I'll just scroll down and look for that face. Here it is. And then when I click on it, I'll get those magic recommendations. So I'm gonna click see all. And this was the kid, so let's go here and do view collection. Let's use this happy one because hopefully he's not worried anymore. Maybe Joey told him everything will be okay and I'll see you later. So I'm going to make this be the correct size. And then remember when we did this head originally, we did have to edit the image to make the skin color match. So what I'm going to do is I'll just click on the head and I'll click copy style and then I'll click on the new head. And then it's just going to copy those adjustments over. So now I'll ungroup the old Christopher and I'll delete the head. And then I'll go ahead and put this head in its place. And I'll crop that bottom part off. And let's copy those eyes over. So he has his blue eyes. And I'm going to copy some tufts of grass over. This video is getting pretty long and I'm really hungry and I have to eat lunch. <laughs> so we still have quite a bit to do on this picture. We need to add their mom and then we can add like some other kids at the bus stop as well. So let's go ahead and stop here. And then next week we can add those other things in. So that's going to be it for today. And I'll see you next week for the rest of the picture. And if you have your own children's book that you're working on, join my creativity club on Facebook, where we support each other, encourage each other, share our goals, and help each other in any way to reach those goals. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.